Hey you guys, this is Melissa from MomSimpleLife.com and today I just want to show you guys what we've started. So earlier today I was outside in the sweet potato garden in the front and then realized we need to get our sweet potatoes going. So I ended up getting a huge 10 pound bag of organic sweet potatoes, two bags actually from Costco because last year I thought we would have no potatoes in that a sweet potato garden so I just kind of left it alone and whatever was out there I figured it might root again and actually produce potatoes this year so when digging around we actually found big potatoes uh, probably about this size some of them were actually cut in half and we just left them in the garden and we stopped digging around we just pulled out the grass so what I have back here is some oh, hold on you guys some uh, seeds that I'm trying to start. Uh, normally I start them straight into the dirt, but these are uh, heirloom organic seeds that I had from 2013. And I realized I started planting a whole bunch of different types of tomato plants that I thought I would be able to grow and sell. And suddenly none of them are popping up and I think it's because I did not store them well. I know it's not the way I'm doing it because I use the one that I was plant that I just got this year my heirloom seeds and they were perfectly fine. They're probably about like three inches tall tomato plants so far. So I'm just trying to then see what seeds are good and what are not just by putting them in. There's a paper towel on the bottom and just the seeds and the moisture just to see what will start germinating and I have a whole bunch of different ones. If they're not labeled on top, they're actually labeled on the other side. But it's got a whole bunch here in the window seal that I'm going to try to germinate and see what comes up and what doesn't. I just got done ordering a whole bunch of seeds. Uh, I think I got some off of Amazon. I got some off of eBay. I went on to the MI Gardener website and I think I ordered some there. I'm actually not quite sure if I actually placed that order or if I added it to the cart. But I need to go back on there and see if the cart's empty or not. I do that all the time where I think I ordered something and then it's still sitting in the cart weeks later. Okay, so anyways, I just want to do an update of how, what I started today and I'll show you guys what I have going on downstairs. Okay, so here is my shower stall that I have downstairs. I haven't hooked up this light yet, which I need to hook up, but I don't really need to right now because I have enough racks up here. But these are the ones I planted. Uh, I think I planted these about four weeks ago. And these are all the Rutger tomatoes that I got out of that uh, that can, that heirloom can, the seed bank that I got. So they all popped up. Uh, these are all the vegetables that I had from that uh, heirloom can too. And they're all popping up and looking great. So they used to be on top of here, but now because the 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 light was too close and I couldn't really like, I guess I could have raised it, but it was just easier just to, you know, trade shelves. But I'm gonna start some more seeds as soon as I get those heirloom seeds that I ordered online in. Then I'm gonna start those tomato plants and see if, this, if those will come up a lot better. But so far I have 72 tomato plants. They're all Rudger tomatoes that I'm gonna be trying to sell this year. I ended up going to the Dollar Tree and I found those little tiny pots. I think they're about four inch pots, six for a dollar, and then little tags that I'm going to put in each pot just so I can label them. So that's about it. Now let's see if you can stand back and see my whole shower thing when I got set up here. So as you can see, the temperature is 66 degrees, so it is pretty good. It's not too cold, not too hot, just about right. Could probably be a little bit warmer than that, but since it's kind of cold outside, at least I won't be completely shocked when I start moving a lot of these lettuces. I have a lot of lettuce I need to move outside because it's getting pretty warm out. What are you doing, Noah? Oh. So back here, some of them are taking a little bit longer to get up. I don't know what's going on with those leaves. I don't know if it's the mildew that was on top of the soil that's calling, causing it to curl or maybe uh, because of the wire racks, maybe the water wasn't uh, getting all the way back there when I put it. I don't water from on top, I water from down below. And I did put some water in 
just a little bit ago, as you can see here, just so I could soak up. And that is usually how I water there. Okay, so here are two flats that I started probably about two weeks ago. Uh, as you can see, I think I have one little one coming up. The reason why they look a little bit red is because I have cinnamon that I sprinkled on top, I'm trying to cut down on that powdery, powdery mildew. And you can probably see some right here that started developing. Uh, it's just something that kind of happens sometimes on starting seeds. Even though this is uh, organic potting mix, even with the moisture, because there's no germination, it started getting that, uh, that mildew on top. So since these are seeds from 2013, 2014, and I did not have them in the freezer like I should have, I did have them in a dark, dry place. That was not good enough because as you can see, nothing is popping up after two weeks or technically one little one right there popping up after two weeks. But that it's not the soil or anything, it's just the seed. That's what I'm having issues with. 